Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Modded Minecraft. Alright, so today I want to start getting my hands on some of the higher end stuff from Mechanism. And by that, I mean the Mecha Suit and the Mecha Tools. These things are absolutely awesome, but it's a bit of a process to get there. So as, if we just click on the helmet for example, these, as you can see, are very expensive. Now, the Netherite, that's no problem. We've got tons of diamonds and tons of ancient debris, so we can do that easy. The control circuits, again, not a problem. We've got loads of those and we've got recipes set up to automatically craft them. Same thing with the induction cells, so that's fine. But we also have HTP sheets and polonium. These things are not so simple. The HTPE is what we're going to concentrate on today. It's not too bad a process, but I'll talk you through that. And then the polonium, this is something we're going to work on in the future. Because, yeah, that, that's, I don't want to even look at that. HTPE is the plan for today. Alright, so I'm just down behind my power generator at the moment, and this is pretty crucial to what is going to be happening today. So, if we just have a look at the recipe for HDPE, what we're actually going to need to do is use substrate, which is a side product of the pressurized reaction chamber when we're making ethylene with biofuel. And that is exactly what we've got going on here. So, this pressurized reaction chamber takes biofuel and it makes ethylene, and that's what we're using for our power generation. But... As a side product, we're getting substrate, and I do have an absolute ton of this. Not just what's in here, because I've cleared this out about 10 minutes ago. It's a ri I get a ridiculous amount of this. So, I have been saving it. I've got 16,000 saved in a storage drawer, and the problem is, I can't actually use it. Because if we look at the recipe for HTP again, what we actually need to do is take substrate and put it in a, another PRC with oxygen and liquid ethylene. So I can't actually use it independently. I'm going to need to set up another pressurized reaction chamber to create the substrate and the ethylene because I need to use both. So it, I thought I'd be able to use this, but I need to do a completely separate standalone system. So now I think we need to craft up a few things and then we can get on with setting up this system somewhere else. Right, so this is a substrate that I've kept and yeah, I'll, I am going to keep it because you never know, I may be able to get through like a backlog, it may use more substrate than ethylene, so we'll give that a go once I've got it set up. Okay, so we're down in my automation area and this is where I've got all like this standalone little setups and this is where I think I'm going to put it. So this room will get redesigned at some point, but I think as far as the layout of the machines is going to stay pretty much the same. So let's have a look at what I've got on me and this is all basic stuff that we've crafted before and I placed it in my inventory in the right order so I think I know what I'm doing. So first up, electrolytic separator which is going to take water and then that will be split into hydrogen and oxygen and we, in this case we actually need to use both. So the hydrogen is going to go into the pressurized reaction chamber and that's where we're going to get the substrate and the ethylene. And then this is going to need the biofuel as well, which we're going to get from the crusher. The rotary condensate is going to take the ethylene and turn it into liquid ethylene. And then this pressurized reaction chamber will take the liquid flowing ethylene and the oxygen from the first one, which I want it was, and the substrate. And that will turn that into HDP pellets. And then the, finally, the simple bit, the enrichment chamber will turn the HDP pellets into the HDP sheets. So yeah, all sounds simple, doesn't it? And then we've got the few cables and chest and drawers depending on how we do this, so all sounds pretty straightforward, doesn't it? Yeah, I know, but we'll try and get it done anyway. So first up, let's do the electrolytic separate. Oh, and I need some water as well, die. so we will take one of our trusty sinks, put that there, and then we're going to need a pipe on the back of that. So we'll put that there, and turn that to pull. And oh, that should be getting the water in there, right? So we're now getting hydrogen and oxygen. And we do need to mess about with the side config on this one. We'll want to change the output to output one on the right. Turn this one off, please. And then put the oxygen output, or output two, sorry, on the top, which is going to be the oxygen. So that is going to go across in a minute. But next up, we want the pressurized reaction chamber. And that is going to be receiving the hydrogen. So if I plunk this down, that should just work. No, it's getting oxygen. That's gone wrong, hasn't it? That's output one, which is hydrogen. Why Why are you getting oxygen? That's that's wrong. Don't do that. I've, had an, oh, I've, I've done it on items. Right, that's why. Okay. So, I want to do that on gases. So, do the same thing again. Turn that one to that, and that one to the second one. Right, so if we just break this, that should clear it, but it might not. So let's try that. Where am I? 
Right, so that is now getting the hydrogen. That's good, that's what I want. Okay, so if we then put the rotary condensator down, that will take the ethylene from in here, and let's just make sure I've got this one set up right as well. So I want to be on gases again, and the output is to the right. So that's what I want. The ethylene will come out of there, and then of course this one needs water as well. So if we just put another pipe on there, that'll start receiving water. And then all we need to do is to put the biofuel into here. So what we could do, actually, let's put a crusher on top of there. And we'll need to power that. The power is a little bit fiddly, though, because I need to leave room for the oxygen coming out of here. So look, can we do that? Do that over there like that. And then I can have a... Let's put that pipe in now so I don't forget. And what I need is gas, isn't it? So I need the tube. So put that there. I'll go right to the top so it doesn't get in the way of anything else. And, no, 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 do that. And that is going to go, it's going to skip over the rotary concentrator, and I believe it's going to go into this next PRC over here. So, yeah, well, why that open to me? Because I may need to do something with the side config there. Right, so let's find something to put in the crosshair. I've got tons of nether wart, so let's do that. I also need some upgrades as well, won't we? So I'll get some speed upgrades. Yeah, a full stack of those. And I also want some energy upgrades as well. I've got any new. No. Let's get those going. Thank you. One more, come on. What? What? Oh, I've got something missing. I don't know. Right. So if we put these in here, it should go a lot faster. Alright, and I also need to output these to the bottom, and I do want items this time, right? So let's go into here, output at the bottom, and I also need oh, no, eject on that. Right, so that's outputting into there, and that's actually doing this thing now. So we should start getting substrate and ethylene out of here. And that might actually go straight into there. So yeah, the ethylene is happening already, and we already have liquid ethylene, so that's good. And it's already going into there. This, this is going well. So now, I just need to get the substrate out of here and into here. And we're, we're pretty much there. That'll be the HDPE. How was that? How has that got oxygen already? Um, Okay, do that. Oh, God. Right, that's going straight into there. That's, that's, this, this is good. I like this. Okay, it's working. Right. So now, I just need to get the substrate in. How are we going to do that? That's, that's actually going to be quite difficult, isn't it? Because I'm using most of the sides of this. Okay, so I think I'm going to have to go for a bit of an ugly way. Most of the sides of these machines are taken up, so I'm going to just go out of the front, which isn't ideal, but let's do that anyway. So, we've got the... Where is my logistical transporter? So, we'll put that on there like that. And then also one into the front of there. It, yeah, it, it's not pretty, but we'll hopefully make it look a bit better eventually. And then I want to do... Actually, I just need to do the output on here, right? So side config items, make sure it's items, and the front I want to output. There we go. So the substrate's going into there now. And I could do with the key so we can see what's going in there. So I've got 65 in there already. I'll block that as well. Put those away. Okay, so that's going alright. I think I don't have any speed upgrades in these yet, so I can do that. Let's put the NG ones in first. And all the speed. So that should be going a little bit better. Oh god. The crusher is backed up anyway, but once we put these in here, this that might change. Yeah, so we'll make sure this is fully upgraded as well. No, that already is. That's alright. Okay, so that's flying up now. Okay, and now we just need to get those into there. So we'll make sure for items that's on input. And then we just need to set that to extract or pull. Now that's going into there, and that should make HTPE. Brilliant. Okay, that's great. Now, the last bit is just to get those into an enrichment chamber. So, I didn't actually explain, but what you can do with these is just craft them into the HTPE sheets. And that's, that takes eight pellets, and you get one sheet. Whereas if you put them in an enrichment chamber, you just need to put three in to get one sheet. So, definitely a better way of doing it. So, we'll just put this enrichment chamber down there like that. And we just need to set this to output items to the right. Eject on. And those are going straight into there. And I will upgrade this one as well. Just like that. 
And now we are getting HTPG. So that is great. So I'm going to put uh, these just going into... Where shall I do it? Let's do it on top. So do that storage drawer there. Uh, I should have got my keys, shouldn't I? Numbers and uh, lock it. And if we just put this to output on the top. And turn inject on. Yes, that went straight in. Right, yeah. Because there used to be a bug in the early versions of 1.16 mods. Where storage drawers didn't like anything put straight into them. But I should know that that's fixed. Because I've done it over here. Anyway. Right, so that's working. Now we have HTTP fully automated. Which is great. Well, it's not 100% automated. Because I need to get biofuel into there. Which we've already run out of. Do I have any already? I've got a little bit. So I'll stick that in there, but I also want to do an exporter so we can actually start getting that straight into there. So I'll have that. Nice. And do I have any cables? Let's grab those. Right, so I want to use nether wart for this because it's so easy to gather this. Because with the storage drawers, you can put the blocks into a compacting drawer and then you can just take the normal wart out. So all I need to do really is go to a crimson forest with a hoe and get an absolute ton of blocks and then I've got nether wart for days. So may come up with something else eventually you may do like a sugarcane farm to output into here but for now this is more than good enough so let's do that on there not like that and i just want to make sure this is exporting nether wart and that's doing that that's going straight into there great stuff and i could put some speed upgrades in there but that should keep up yeah that, that should be all right i'll keep an eye on it but i think that should be all right so that is now fully automated all we need to do is just put a not an importer uh, an external storage there so we can actually see it from this system so let's pull that on there uh, just to prove it I don't think I have any HDP in there at the moment which I don't so if you just put an external storage on top of here like no nope, not like that like what is going on right external storage on top of here just like that and then we'll put a cable there that means I'm stuck which is not good Yeah, yeah, I, I am genuinely stuck. Right, let's get out. Do that from that side. And now, if we search for HDP in here, we should see everything that's in that drawer. And we can. So that's great. That's coming in automatically. Let's tidy this up a little bit. I'll just keep that a little bit tidier. Definitely need to do something a bit better with this. But, you know, that's the best I can do for now. But I think that is all right. It's, it don't look great, I know. But it's working. And we're getting HTTP in automatically, which is absolutely perfect. Like that. Okay, so I just added in the remaining upgrades. And I didn't have them in this... No, not in that one. In the Rotary Condensator and the this PRC. So I've got those in there now. And this is flying through the substrate. It can barely keep up. And yeah, look, we're up to 138 sheets already. So this is coming in absolutely crazy. I could probably actually upgrade this to a factory. Uh, basic... That's the one. Basic tier installer. Let's do that. Put that on there, and now we have more than one slot, so we sit, change that to auto sort, it'll split it between all three, and that'll go crazy fast. Right, that's great. Okay, so why do we want HTTP? Apart from the mecha stuff that we looked at earlier, if you look at the other uses of it, we can also have a HTTP reinforced lighter, and I have absolutely no idea what this is. I'm assuming it improves the durability or just makes it infinite, I don't know, but I also know that you need this for the mecha suit add on that gives it an elytra, but that's not what we're looking at yet. We can also do other stuff with it apart from the mecha suit. So we can create the plastic blocks from mechanism. And these are very interesting, like a really flat texture. And there's also like a transparent version of them as well. I don't, I don't know what they do. I don't know what they look like. But this is the thing I'm really interested in. These, these are the glow panels. And these are basically a high-tech lighting kind of thing. So if we just do this, put these down somewhere. So if they're way better than like the lanterns and the torches. So you can't really tell in here because it's got so much light. But if, actually, let's get rid of these lanterns because I don't want these in here eventually. We are in a mushroom island as well, so it's no problem if I make everything completely dark. Let's get rid of all this. Yeah, so look at them. Pa oh, no, no, don't do that. So yeah, those panels, th these look way cooler. So I don't know what color I'm going to go for. You can have them in all of the Minecraft colors. Uh, so look, what we got. So yeah. These look really cool. Do I have a white one? Let's let's try with the basic version. I don't have any. I don't have any white dye. Right. Have I got any bone meal? Oh, I've got a few bones. But let's give this a try. I really want to try this. And then we can turn that. Go it. Let's 
get all that. And let's do the glow panel again. Where's the white one? That one. Let's grab all of those and try these on like on like the ceiling, that's what I'm thinking of. Like, yeah. What well, once we have like a, a more high tech area. Like like this kind of thing really. I suppose they look good in here. I don't know what I don't know where we'll pull them. Um Just like that. Because I've got glowstone in here at the minute, that's what the lighting is, but yeah, like next to the Yeah, that looks so good. I love it. Don't know where exactly I can play with the placement of this a bit, but yeah, that that it definitely fits in better with what we've got going on in here. But yeah, don't really make sense in here, but as I say, I am going to change all this. Right, so I was about to craft up some of the plastic blocks so we could have a look at those, but I noticed that this machine had gone quiet. And the reason for that is the ethylene had completely backed up. That's good news and bad news. So the bad news is it wasn't working, but I've fixed that. So all I've done is put a tank along the back. So if this ever does fill up, then it will just fill into here as like a buffer. And this holds absolutely tons. Even the pipes hold tons, actually. So don't really have to worry about that anymore. But the good news is it will... It looks like it's going to use more substrate than it does ethylene coming from this. So, what I've done, I've put an exporter from my refined storage system down here. And that is sending my extra substrate into there. So, that means that what I can also do from my power generation setup that's producing substrate, I can import that directly into here and then that'll get exported into there. So, how's that doing in the minute? I did have 16,000. Yeah, so I've got rid of 2,000 out of there already. And that's pretty... That's staying pretty much at the same level. So the only problem is, is if this fills up completely, then this isn't going to have anywhere to send anything, and we could have the opposite problem where we don't have any ethylene being produced. So I'm going to need to keep an eye on it. Maybe put more storage into here so that'll keep going. But as you can see, we already have 767 ethylene. So once this fills up, and I think it's at 2048, this whole thing will back up anywhere and then won't go anywhere. So that's alright, as long as I have a stockpile of it, I'm happy with that. And with that, I think I'm actually going to leave it there. Been a bit of a process getting this set up, and hopefully it's been of some use and you've learned something. I know I definitely have. So next time, we're going to get on with working towards the mecha suit again, and getting into some of the polonium pellets and all that stuff. It's going to be fun and very, very stressful, but we'll leave that till next time. So if you have enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.